dear friend, "'twas just the other night after me evening toast and tea. I was peering into me Cristolio, when my gaze had become fixed upon a land not of this time. I had seen a people that lived in peace with one another. There was a great harmony over all of the land. War to these people was nothing more than a myth. Here lived a man named Tana, a hunter-gatherer from the tribe of the Big Sky. Tana had been chosen by his people to be the next shaman of his tribe, and to be the keeper of the sacred call of the mother. But first he must visit with many times the wise men of the wood, to receive the call and his initiation into this ancient tribal custom. Ah, my old friend. How have you been? I've been doing well many times, thank you. The arch chieftains, they understand that my days are numbered upon this mountain. I soon, too, shall pass away. And you will take my place. Tana, you need to go call the mother and ask for the blessings of the mother. You have to go to the White Mountain. But before you do that, you must make a journey into the spirit world and find the name of the Great O. And you must learn the history of the human race. This call belonged to our ancestors of the first tribe. It was said that the mother goddess and her saints handed this call over to the ancestors of our first tribe as a gift on their wedding day. So many times, what is the name of the mother? You will experience that in the spirit world. And you will utter it when you get to the top of the White Mountain. It is an honor to lead you there. You must drink this, every bit of it. Tana, you overslept, Tana. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to leave at first rise of the sun. And you poisoned me? This is the great call. And remember, 
Under no circumstance must you ever take it out of its bag to gaze upon it with a vain eye. Go on, you gate. Tana received his vision, without sight, from a spirit with no form, but all-encompassing, presiding over all things that are and everything that is not. The spirit that did not speak spoke these words clearly to his soul, and he did see with no eyes. He did listen to the sound, for it was all of everything that understood silence. What is, the spirit said, the same thing that ever was, and the same thing that shall ever be. Nothing under the sun is new. As gold in the furnace, everything has been tried by fire. The people ruled, the people failed, the people ruled again. Yet they, within all of their marvels and wonders, could not love. In garrisons of ignorance, they battled on to the death. The people wailed in misery, pestilence spoke, and was heard in the tears of infants crying. Brothers against brothers, sisters cursing their own seed, mothers, fathers destroying lives. Chaos was chief over all. Priests prayed for vanity, physicians killed, lawmakers did not render justice. Battle leaders commandeered the stage. Fire ruled the earth, the air rebuked our breath, the water chastised our thirst. The earth was barren of all her fruits, and the people fell once more. From the ashes, the children remembered each other, they remembered peace, and they remembered love.
Oh. Tana. You overslept, Tana. I had. You were supposed to leave at first rise of the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm.